All right. So what I want to do is explain to you as a new artist, maybe to ZBrush, that there is two separate paths here, two major separate paths, and there's there's sub paths and all that good stuff, but two separate paths for ZBrush. There is the path of the artist that just remains in ZBrush and makes polygon meshes that have no good topology whatsoever. They just they're just illustrators and certainly illustrators have a huge amount of talent behind them um, for their illustration pieces and they can come up with wacky stuff because they got 8, 10, 30 million polys at their disposal to do that. So that's one section. I'm not dispelling or saying anything bad about those. Those people have amazing talent. There's also another section is that people that make stuff in ZBrush in hoping to port to another program to purposely use it in maybe a game or maybe just render it in another program um, like Maya, animate it. Okay, So those are the two separate paths. One does not care about polygon count whatsoever. They don't care about texture baking at all. Um, they might use them, but in most cases it's it's useless anyway because you can paint on uh, 10 or 20 million polys and make it look good regardless of texture baking or anything else because you're in ZBrush and all the shadows in ZBrush are here. You know, I can I can look at this in here and it looks amazing. Okay, if I port it over to another program. I have to kind of work at it just a little bit to make it look amazing. The benefit of this is um, I can use this in other things. I could throw this in a game. It'll look just like this because I got a normal map for it. So you got to understand where I'm teaching you or how I'm teaching you. Am I teaching you as an illustrator or am I teaching you as a game artist? I'm trying to do both. Um, but you'll find that I sway quickly to this side because I think this side has some very technical things that you should know as an artist that you, it's, it's a good base knowledge, a good fun foundation skill to learn. Anybody without the foundation skill can quickly go in here and sculpt away. I would say those people are probably used to working with traditional clay and really want to just use ZBrush as a sculpting tool. And then there's the game guy that wants to go over to this. So that's the two separate um, paths. And I said there is probably more paths than that, no doubt about it. But those are the two major paths out of ZBrush. So on to the next video.